Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my 25 week pregnancy vlog. I am 25 weeks today. I wrote down a list of symptoms because there were actually quite a lot of things that happened this week um, with regards like pregnancy symptoms and just things I noticed, like changes that I noticed. So I wrote them down in my little notebook here. So I'm gonna go through them now. Uh, the first thing that I probably noticed, which I, I think I only started noticing yesterday actually, so it's quite recent and I'm still not 100% sure if it is a genuine symptom or like if it's if this is actually what I'm feeling, but it is baby hiccups. So when you start to feel movement, it's generally like kicks or flutters or the baby actually like physically moving. But as the baby gets a little bit bigger, you start to feel when they hiccup, which I think is really, really cute. I love that part of pregnancy and I just feel like it helps you bond so much more with your baby because it just makes you think of it as an actual baby, you know, that you can like hold in your arms and it's just so, so cute. So yesterday I was laying down and I could feel movement, and but then I kind of realized it's a different kind of movement when they hiccup because it's like a, almost like a rhythmic, rhythmical rhythmic um feeling because it keeps going in and out like the same times kicks are usually sporadic and just happen like all over the place but hiccups are kind of like continuous so i feel like that's what it was i wasn't a hundred percent sure and then today it happened again and I'm like 90% sure that that is what it is. I definitely know that hiccups are something that you can feel much later on. I think this is probably the earliest, I'm not really sure, but I think this is probably the earliest that I felt them, but that would make sense because it is my fourth baby. The other thing was seeing and feeling movement outside of my belly. So now that I'm 25 weeks, Jonathan can feel kicks as well as me if he puts his hand on my tummy the kids can feel kicks they haven't really felt anything yet just because it hasn't been I haven't been doing it that much and I haven't been like you know showing them as much but I'm sure as the baby gets bigger I will but it's that's one of the nice parts because it gets the other family members bonding with the baby as well and I can see movements now too through like my t-shirt or my top when I look down and I get a big kick I can actually see it which is amazing so this week I actually had quite a bit more energy um at the beginning of the week so I kind of went in with but overall I have had a lot more energy like I've been more motivated to do things and I kind of just went all in you know like I, I got that bit of energy and just like took it and ran with it which I don't know <laughs> if that was a good idea because I kind of felt feel like I burnt out at the end of the week because of that. I think I just need to like be more balanced sometimes. <laughs> like I just took all of that energy and was like, okay, I'm gonna organize this and I'm gonna pack away this stuff and I'm gonna do all of this. And that was great. And I really love that feeling of like, you know, feeling motivated, feeling energized. But at the same time, sometimes I think I just take that too far and do too much and then completely burn out. And that's not good either. So in the beginning of the week and like just in general, I have been feeling more energy. Um, last week, we actually had a heat wave. So we had amazing weather. And Jonathan and I ended up taking the dogs out because we kind of were at that, Jonathan calls it like the sweet spot where Amelia and Eduardo were at school. Alessia's involved in a couple of like baby classes. She's doing uh, like a mini music class and then a art class as well. And she did baby yoga. So like she has a couple of things on now during the week, which means that we have the freedom to kind of like do what we want, I suppose. So what we decided to do was to take that and um, put that time and energy into our dogs because we do have a dog walker who walks them three times a week But I feel like both of us both Jonathan and I love our dogs. Obviously. We love our children But we do love our dogs too and they were our babies first and I don't want to let go of that I I still enjoy walking them. So does Jonathan. It's just time like time just <laughs> We just don't have enough of it and it's just like there's too many kids and too many dogs so sometimes somebody gets left out and it's generally the dogs, which is always very sad, I feel like, um, but it happens in most families. So we took that time and because we didn't have any kids or babies on us, 
we decided that we would walk like all six. Usually if I walk the dogs, I'll walk them two by two by two. So I'll, I'll walk two and then I'll come home, two, come home, two, come home, and then I'll have walked all six. But because the two of us were free and it was such nice weather, we walked all six together, which I can't do by myself. I have to have another person there with me. You just need four hands for that. And even at that, it's still a little bit of a struggle. We usually take three each, but it was really nice. And the dogs loved it. They loved being out together because inevitably, whenever I walk them two by two by two, there's somebody that always gets left out. Eventually they get walked, but whoever's last on that list gets really upset when they, they watch the other four dogs going out before them. So <laughs> I know this sounds ridiculous and if you're not a dog lover, you probably don't care about stuff like this, but I feel like they get a better experience when they're all walked together. I feel like they prefer when, I mean, it's, it's normal like for dogs, they love their owners, right? Like they love their master, um, and they want to be around them naturally. So when we walk them, it's like a different experience to even when the dog walker walks them, even though our dog walker is fantastic. But I just think that there's a difference between the owner doing it, their master doing it, and somebody else. And they always just go mad when it's us. And they always know when it's gonna be us as well because I start putting all their leads on whereas the dog walker brings the leads. So, they really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. Um, it was really good exercise. We did it like four times last week and then the other three times they were taken out. And then on Saturday we did like a family walk. Funnily enough, I was way more tired after the family walk with the three kids than walking by ourselves with six dogs. They just, I don't know why, but kids just suck the energy out of you. And I think it's just logistics of like leaving the house, car seats, sun cream, snacks, nappies, wipes, just everything involved with small children just makes you so much more tired. And I was exhausted before we even started the walk, honestly, compared to walking the dogs, which was like, probably went for longer. You know, we were doing bigger hikes, bigger walks, and I still wasn't as tired after because it just didn't require the brain power that bringing three kids around did. So um, but I was really happy that we got out in the fresh air. It was like really good for us. And we've tried to keep that up this week. Like today we went out with the dogs um, as well because we had some free time again. It wasn't as nice weather, but it is good exercise. I know it's really good for the baby, but I will say that at the end of the week, I was pretty much flattened <laughs> and I think I may have overdone it. I don't really know, I'm not really sure. So while I have been having more energy, like I said, I've also been kind of going a little bit too extreme at times, I think. I feel like at the weekend is where I begin to unravel. <laughs> and I think it's really healthy for us as a family, at least, to have like one day where we have activities and the kids have things to do, because obviously they need that, but then have another day, either Saturday or Sunday, doesn't matter, where we just do nothing. I think everybody just needs that at least once a week. I think that's probably where we went wrong. We just had a lot on this weekend and things just got a little bit too much and I just had to like lay down. Another thing that I noticed was lightning crotch. Lightning crotch is something that I've experienced every single pregnancy. It hasn't been that bad like this week. I know it, it only kind of gets worse as the pregnancy progresses. So this week has not been terrible, but I've noticed it for the first time, like with the hiccuping thing. I don't know if you guys remember, but last week I talked about that pressure feeling down there and some of you actually described it way better than me as like a swollen feeling or like something's just gonna fall out. That is exactly what it feels like. And I haven't been having that as much this week, which is really good because I have been doing lots of exercise. So I thought that that might cause it, but it didn't. Um, but lightning crotch happened maybe about twice, I noticed. And if you don't know what that is, if you haven't been pregnant before, you haven't experienced it, it's just like a bolt of lightning <laughs> in your crotch area, basically. And it's it takes you by surprise. Like it's not brought on by anything in particular. Like you don't do anything to cause it. It's just the pregnancy, I think. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it is that causes it, but it just comes out of nowhere. And further along in the pregnancy, you can actually like be doubled over because it can take you by surprise and you just 
you almost like fold in half when it happens. Um, I'm not there yet, but it did happen once or twice this week and I was like, oh, that's back again. <laughs> you just kind of have to like take a minute to be like, okay, what's going on? Um, and sometimes it can be more, it's not, it's not exactly painful, it's just uncomfortable. I know I spoke about heartburn before, that has been really annoying. <laughs> it's just like after every single meal or after I eat something, not every single meal, but most of the time after I eat something, I get this awful heartburn and I just have to take something for it. So I take Rennie's and it's just more annoying than anything else because sometimes I forget to take them with me wherever I'm going or like if I even if I go upstairs <laughs> our house is like three stories so sometimes I get to the top of the house realize I've got a terrible bout of heartburn and the rainy tablets are like all the way at the bottom of the stairs so I'm like no I don't want to do it I don't want to go back down um that's such first world problems but you know what I mean like it's just annoying it's an annoyance and it just irritates me because I just want to enjoy my food and just be left alone but I have to think about this all the time like if I eat something that I know is going to cause heartburn like if I drink coffee or if I eat like sugar or like chocolate or something like that it always gets triggered and that's just irritating to me that is pretty much it for this week I'm going to show you the bump although I have got um, maternity dungarees on so I didn't really think this through because I'm gonna have to basically undress to show you the bump but I will try. These dungarees are from Mamalicious and then this top is not maternity this is from where is this from I can't even remember I think this is from H&M yeah H&M it's not maternity but it's gonna be so stretched out after this pregnancy so this is the belly for 25 weeks it's got really big and I feel like these dungarees only emphasize the bump I think it looks cute it's like you're carrying a little basketball around so that's everything for 25 weeks I hope you enjoyed this video be sure to check out my blog for pictures of Eduardo's birthday party because I'm going to put them up today and there were so many to choose from. It's going to be so difficult to actually sit down and choose. I haven't, I haven't done that yet, but um, I'm going to try and I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe for more and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.